Spring is here and that means warmer weather, the cherry blossoms and the picnics and of course the allergies. Big time. Yeah. Doreen Gensler working for your health this <laughs> evening with tips to help keep your symptoms under control. Seasonal allergies begin in February and they can last until September. Right now we're dealing with tree pollen, then it's grasses, then weeds, and for millions of us, it can be pretty extreme. This is a very busy time. Spring is in the air, causing our allergies to go out of control. The pollen just comes out so strong that it just feels miserable for the first two to three weeks. Most of my patients are suffering from symptoms such as itchy, watery eyes, sneezing, congestion, cold-like symptoms, post-nasal drip, sinus headaches, and often asthma-like symptoms of cough, shortness of breath, or wheezing. That's Dr. Troy Baker. He's an allergist with Kaiser Permanente. He says this time of year can be miserable for a lot of people. And when you factor in the pandemic, it can get tricky to tell whether it's allergies or COVID or the common cold. If you get a fever, if you're having muscle aches and chills, if you lose your sense of smell, those are symptoms that are related to a virus, not related to a pollen allergy. If it is allergies, Dr. Baker says you can take steps right now that can help before the pollen reaches its peak. Once you start taking your medication, it's almost about a week before you start feeling really good from the pollen uh, exposure you're getting. He says over-the-counter nasal steroid sprays and oral antihistamines are effective when it comes to combating allergy symptoms, but... Don't forget about your clothing. When you're outdoors, your clothing and your hair acts like a giant pollen sponge. Change your clothes when you come indoors, take a shower, wash your hair, and that will help reduce the pollen exposure you're feeling when you get back inside. Keeping your doors and windows closed at home and rolling up your car windows can also help keep pollen from becoming a big problem. Dr. Baker says telemedicine is ideal for people who are suffering with allergies. He says a lot of the testing can be done through blood work, so doctors don't have to physically see the patient. Back to you.